Hi, I'm Mira from Flow with Mira. Today, it's an advanced total body mat workout. So if you are in an advanced level and experienced Pilates practitioner, come and join me. It's a fast pace, so you make sure that you are in the right level. We're going to start the class with standing roll down. So let's find our parallel feet position, lifting the spine as and tall, take an in-breath. Now as we exhale, let's go ahead and roll the head down and softening at the knees here and continue rolling the spine down to the floor all the way, just warming up our body. Inhale at the bottom, softening at the knees, exhale as we lift the abdominal wall. We bring our pelvis to a vertical alignment, lower back, middle back, upper back, shoulder open, neck and head. Let's go two more times. In breath. Exhale. Rolling down. And take it all the way down. Take a moment here to feel how your body is feeling today. Maybe you're feeling a little tight at some part of the spine. Maybe you're feeling all good. Whatever it is, acknowledge it. And lifting us and tall. One last one. In breath. Exhale as we roll down and deep flexion in the spine as long as you can before you tip the pelvis forward in breath exhale lifting up lifting up lifting up and standing tall all right let's take our body down we're going to start with a roll up but we're going to start with the reverse way so legs are long together Arms are forward. Now, find our C curve position here, drawing the abdominal muscle towards the spine. Neck is still long here. Gaze is down towards the leg. We in breath. Exhale. As we roll our spine down, we take our arms overhead. Inhale, chest lift. Exhale, deep scoop and abdominal into the C curve. In breath. Exhale, sacrum onto the floor, lower spine down on the floor, and then arms overhead, making sure that you do not take the ribs into hyperextended. And inhale, exhale, lifting, 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 in breath. Exhale, rolling back, arms overhead. Inhale, lifting chest lift. Exhale, deep scoop, C curve. And here, one more time. And exhale, we roll down. Now, I'd like you to just stay in that chest lift position here. Turn the palms down, squeeze those legs together. Guess what? Lift the legs up. Hundreds. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, we go. Inhale, three, four, five, and. Four more set. Really try to get that lower ab scooping into the spine and reaching the legs in the opposite direction. Last set here. Stay. Drag the knees into a tabletop. Open your arms up to a T position and rest your head down. I'm just going to shuffle myself down towards the middle of the mat here. All right, let's go to your your spine to supine here. Let's rotate towards me. Now extending both legs straight. Bring it back to the center. And we bend over to the other side as we inhale. We extend. Exhale. So just a little variation here. Inhale the twist. And we extend. Exhale. Inhale, twist. We extend. And two more sets. And twist. Extend. The last set each side. Last one here. 
exhale, we bend, hold that. Lift your head and chest up, grab the shin just above the ankles. Drop the heels a little bit, bend the elbows, rock ourselves up to rolling like a ball. So just readjust the position of the arms and the body. And we go, inhale, rolling. Exhale, balance. Inhale, rolling. Exhale, inhale. Can we do two more here? Lock the shape. Last one. Stay in balance here. Now like it too. Roll back. Roll back. Roll back. So your arms are going to straighten here. So deep scoop, deep flexion in the spine. And then carefully tip our body to a chest lift position. Straighten both legs up towards the ceiling. Ready for a hamstring pull, one, two, three. Let's lower the left leg down, hands behind the right calf. And we go, we switch. Last set. Number two. Lasse, number three, twist, twist. Lasse, legs back up to the ceiling, bend the knee, lower the chest down and take your arms out by the side. All right, let's go and do our roll over here. So we extend both legs straight, 60 degrees. Legs up to 90, roll over. Bring the legs over your face. Dorsiflex the feet, separate. Lower down, touch the floor if you can, and then go ahead and roll the spine back. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Sit the pelvis down, point the feet. Reach the leg away, pull into abs. Bring it up again, roll over. Gaze is to the ceiling, dorsiflex, separate. We lower the legs and we roll the spine. Rolling, rolling, sit the pelvis down, point, legs away together. Again, up, roll over and dorsiflex, separate. Lower down and rolling back, neck is long. Sit the pelvis down, hip extension, pulling the abs. Last one here, and we roll over. Flex, separate, down, and we roll back, roll back, roll back, point away together. Bend the knees, lower one foot down, second down. Establish your spine position on the floor, ready for our shoulder bridge here. So feet are parallel, hip width distance apart. Let's do two pelvic curl first. We breathe out. We articulate all the way up to the bridge. Inhale. Exhale, let's roll down again. And release the pelvis back to the floor. One more time and we're gonna stay up. Exhale for the shoulder bridge and press up, stay. Left foot down, right leg up to the ceiling, reach up, and we go exhale, inhale, exhale, three, five, eight, there was seven, this is nine, last one, 10, excellent counting for me, point the foot, bend the knee, Take the foot down, reestablish the pelvis position, anchor the right foot, left leg straight up to the ceiling, another 10. We go, two, on six, seven, eight, nine, 10, hold, point, bend the knee, take the foot down, Reestablish the pelvis position and exhale as we roll the spine back 
to the floor. Excellent. Straighten the legs down. Arms overhead. Roll up. Inhale. Exhale. Come up to that C curve and lift the spine up. Ready for our spine stretch, please. So adjust the position of the body. Your feet are slightly wider than the pelvis. Back is straight. Dorsiflex the feet. Inhale. Exhale. We roll the spine down and we're going to add extension here. So we're going to reach the arms away, bring our spine into that diagonal position. Exhale, deep flexion. Take our body down and roll up. Upright. Again. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, lifting, reaching, elongate. And exhale, deep flexion. And roll up. Again. Exhale, we roll down. Inhale, we lift, lift, lift. Exhale, we roll down. And we lift the spine up tall. One last one here. And exhale, we roll down. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, rolling down and up. Up right here. Open your arms up to a T position. We got our sore necks. We rotate towards me, please. Move the arms. Hinge forward. As you come up, the back arm will go to the side. Open the other arm and return back center. We twist, we move the arms, we hinge forward. As we come up, back arm move to the side. Open the other arm to a T position and center. Let's take a little bit faster. Twist, arms, we hinge. We take the arms at the lift up. Open the arms and center. We twist, arm, we hinge. Take the arms as we lift up. Open, center, twist, arm, and hinge. And up, open, center, twist, arm, and hinge. Back arm forward, up, center, last set, twist, arm, and hinge. Back arm to the side, open and center, and last one. And hinge forward, and then out, open, center, and bring the legs together here. All right, we're going to do our scissors and bicycle here. So this, if this is the first time you're doing a scissors and bicycle, I recommend that you watch me for a second and then rewind the video and, can, and then come and join me again. All right, so most important thing with the scissors and bicycle is that we really need to open our chest. So refrain yourself from going into flexion in our upper back, but you really try to open that thoracic so that when you actually in the big arch position that your whole body can open, sorry, your back, your chest can support to open your hips. Anyways, let's go. Into the seeker, we roll back, please. Okay, arms down by the side. I'd like you to bring your feet in. Again, if this is the first time doing it, watch me and then rewind the videos and Come and join me again. Legs up to table one. Legs up to table two. We are going to straighten the legs. 60. Up. Roll over. Now here, bend the knees. Place the heel of your palm and the small of the back. Open the chest and then place your pelvis on the hands. Straighten the legs. Gaze to the ceiling for the scissors. Let's do four sets. Stay in extension. Last set. And bicycle, we tap the floor if you can. And open, tap. And out, tap. And out, tap. And out, tap. And out. Keep your gaze to the ceiling. Keep the chest nice and open. One more set. 
and ta, and ta. Now here, reverse, and top leg goes down, stretch. Whoa, I lost myself, and then there. If you can touch the floor, great. Doesn't seem like I can do it today, but the idea is for you to reach the leg right down, and then right down, and then right down. One which side, right down. Last one, bring your leg up, bring it over, place your arms down, and roll the spine back. And then bend the knees to the tabletop. Moving on to a jackknife, please. We straighten the legs. We bring the legs up. Roll over. We tap. We lift the pelvis, reach the leg up to the sky. We roll back, right down to the floor. Three more times, please. And up. Over. We tap. Inhale. Lift up. Lift up. Lift up. And down. And away. Two more times. Up. Roll over. We tap. And lift up. And roll back. And away. Last one, please. Roll over. And tap. Lift. Roll down. Bring the legs away. Bend the knees in. Lower one foot. Second leg down. Straighten the legs again on the floor. Let's roll up. Inhale. Exhale. Bring yourself over. Now here, cross the legs. Transfer your hands down. Bring the legs back to a quadruped position. We have our leg pull front. Now, lifting the abdominal muscle, flattening the lower spine. Extend one leg out. Recruit the lower abs here, second leg up, and the hamstrings and the glutes. Point the right foot, and we'll lift. Five, four, three, two, one. We switch other foot. One, two, three, four, five, and up stretch. Up, lift the pelvis up. Sending the pelvis away to the ceiling, lengthening the neck towards the floor, and lower the heels, just to stretch the legs for a moment. In breath, exhale, and release the knees down, turn around facing me for our side kick kneeling. So arms out to the side here. Let's go to your right. We tip the body down. Extend the leg, reach the leg long, dorsiflex. Let's go forward. Four more. Two more. Last one. Center. Place the foot down. Press the hip forward. Reach out, lengthening up the spine here, just for a quick side stretch. And then take the arm up, come up, and then side bend over to the other side. And release, other side, let's go. Arm side to T position. And extend. Let's go, dorsiflex, forward. Three more set. And last. Back, back, center. Foot down, hips forward. Reach out. And arm up, come up. Lateral stretch. And bring it in. 
side bend please so we transfer ourselves down to the floor okay now activate the deltoid the lat muscles the obliques all right let's go we inhale reach side bend look down and lift come down and lift side bend and up come down and reach and hips up ribs up waist up up come down two more times lift and up and last one here reach up side bend and up. come down well done swing your leg over to the other side going strong okay stay with me here all right let's go lift up and side arch and and down and lift up and side arch or side bend and come down and lift and over and two more times and lift and over and back and was that our second one i'm not sure let's do one more and come back up well done excellent on to our front we've got our baby swan and then we've got a swan dive prep and some rocking okay so bring your forearm to the side of your shoulder okay legs are long behind you like a cobra tail all right open the front across the front of your chest we exhale as we, as we pick up our abdominal. We inhale as we glide the shoulder blades down. We take our spine to a maximum thoracic extension. And exhale. And we come down. Inhale, engaging the legs as we lift our back. Exhale. We lower. Again, inhale, we lift, exhale, come down. We got one more, and inhale, we lift, exhale, and let's move on to our swan dive prep. And we inhale, we lift to a maximum thoracic, and then we use the abs and the back to take ourselves to a full swan position, whatever it is for you today. Now, as you descend yourself down, start lifting the legs, taking your legs into hip extension and the body comes down and lifting up and kind of like a little seesaw here. And we go down, lowering the chest, the legs float and in breath resist the legs if you can you're welcome to have your legs together and bring the legs up and the chest go down and two more we lift and up and we come down one more we lift and up and we come down and here hold the legs reach your arms out to the side bend the knees and grab those ankles all right for our rocking prep let's go inhale hip extension back extension knee extension and release again inhale hip extension back extension knee extension 
and coming down. Three more. Inhale. Lift. Left. Left. And two more. Inhale. Left. Up. And reach. Okay, next one's the last one. We're going to take it to a rocking here. So we're going to hold the shape as we inhale. Hamstrings back, knee extension, and stay. We rock forward. And back. And four. And last four. Five. Six. Two more. Seven. Eight. Lift. And coming down. Release the legs, arms by the side of the shoulder. Push the floor away and sit the pelvis back to your rest position for a moment. Inhaling, exhaling. Three more times. Two more. Last one. And roll the spine up. Okay. You ready? Teaser one, teaser two, teaser three. Okay, let's do it. All right, bring your legs forward. We can do this, we can do this. Let's go. Let's just do three each. You know what, let's do four each. Change my mind, we can do it. All right, arms forward. Now, tip back, legs up, whoopsie, straight leg, straight arms. Let's go, down, arms overhead, inhale, we'll lift, and up, inhale, we'll lift, two more. Squeeze those legs tight. It will help you. Last one. Inhale. And hold. Teaser two. Lower. Two. Three. Last. Teaser three. We lower the legs and the chest. Arms over. We'll lift everything up. And again. Lower the legs. Body. Arms over. Lift everything up. Two more. And over. And lift everything up. Hang on there. One more. And over. And everything up, up, up. And release. Good job. Whew. Okay, let's go to your seal puppy. And we call it a day. All right, let's have the elbow underneath the knee, hands over your ankle, other side. Okay, lock the legs, broaden the shoulder, and look down to the cavity in front of you there. At the collapse, if you know it, and you don't have to, if you're just learning to do your seal puppy. All right, let's go, we roll back. Clap, one, two, three, forward. Clap, two, three, and. Clap, 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 and. Clap, 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 and. Clap, clap, clap. And clap, clap, clap. Two more sets. And. Last set. And. Now hold. Can we find a little balance moment here? Finding or refinding your center. Find a sense of calmness, groundness, yet powerful and strong. And lower the feet down. Well done. Knees together, hands on the side, push the bottom off, knees forward, 
Hands next to your knees, upside down. Make sure your feet are in parallel position. Oh, dangle your body down. Make sure you do not sway back on the knee joint. For those of you who are hypermobile like me, I'm guilty. I have to keep reminding myself. Inhale. Exhale, let's roll up. One vertebra at a time. Rise up, tall, in breath. Exhale, roll down, and all the way. One last one here, inhale. Exhale, roll up, and up, and up, and up. Find the length in the spine the grounding sensation on your feet, opening or openness across the front of your chest, an easiness in your head and your neck. One long inhalation with me. Exhale. Let it go. Excellent work today. Thank you for joining me and I wish you a lovely day. Take care.